what's up everybody i am back back with another project it's been a minute thanks for waiting today we're doing something that involves that little creature you might have seen running around in previous videos my precious little daughter our cat pixel and she's been an important member of the family for a few years now and you know what pixel actually used to have a pretty awesome party trick when we got her as a kitten and realized that toilet training a cat was possible we thought why wouldn't we do that of course that sounds awesome so we figured out how it was done and we did it she completely figured out how to use the toilet and she did that for many years but eventually we did get a potted plant that was full of dirt of course and pixel saw that and she you know her instincts kind of kicked in she jumped on there she would try and use the bathroom in the dirt of the potted plant and my parents gave me that plant thanks a lot parents they ruined her toilet training but it's okay she obviously had her instincts kicking in and we thought let's just do the litter box thing instead of being confusing and trying to be cool with our toilet trained cat. So here's kind of our little temporary setup. It seems to be working okay, but you know, it gets all over the floor and I think we could do something better. So here we go with this section. Let's try it out. So there's this crawl space in our basement that right now is not really being used. It's just kind of full of random nonsense. So we thought, why not empty that out and maybe make that kind of like a cool cat bathroom type thing. And of course, this is a art channel. Why don't we really do it up and, you know, paint a mural in there or something, make it really cool. But then we noticed that the room right beside it, this kind of this little closed off uh, storage space, it was pretty much a disaster also and wasn't really being utilized very well. There was some stuff that we were storing in there, but, but I thought, hey, why not make that the actual litter box room since it's closed off and make the first triangular shaped room just kind of like a cool entranceway like the lobby for example of this amazing cat bathroom mansion so as for the litter box itself i noticed when we had that small box that you know she was getting stuff she was trying to bury things and she would like fling the litter outside the box would make a big mess so i went to walmart to just went to see if i could find like a nice giant bin give her a lot of space and i'll even still probably extend the walls up with some something i have the bin in the room so now it's just a matter of figuring out how to connect the two i think i have an idea where there will be a little entranceway on the back corner and a little landing that kind of has a lip over the litter box and then she can jump in, jump out, go back to this room. That's my plan, that's my plan. This girl can't even wait till it's out of the bag. We'll have to somehow make like a passageway between the two rooms. There's just really just like a wood panel in between the two. So I thought, why not? We could cut a little entrance from the one room to the other. That way she can come and go as she pleases. And I think that could work. Why not? Okay, so we're gonna use this as the actual litter box. And I wanna make the walls even higher still. So I fashioned this little thing. And I'm gonna go like that. And then I thought maybe to dress it up a little bit more aesthetically from the outside, we can kind of do some walls, tape, I don't know. I think I have an idea. We'll see how it goes. There you go taped it all together, got kind of a boxy, futuristic kind of vibe. And it should, according to my calculations, slide right into place, like so. Voila. And there is that pipe thing that's just right there in front of the room. That's not really doing anything other than, you know, being a pipe. We need that to work still, but it's not doing anything aesthetically or functionally for the room itself. So I thought we could also convert that into like a little cat tower that she could climb up. Maybe it could lead to a landing. So let's figure that out also. Okay, so this was kind of a tricky part and I'm wondering how would you do this? So here's the situation. I have this pipe, right? That goes from the ceiling to the floor. And then I have this tube 
that I want to put around it. Right? Makes sense. But the thing is, the pipe itself is a functioning pipe. That's where one of the toilets runs through. So we don't want to obviously drill into that or damage it in any way. So we can't attach it that way. The floor is concrete, which is not that easy to drill into. It is technically possible. And the pipe is kind of like a thick cardboard. So what I figured I could do is I could just kind of, you know, split this down the middle and wrap it around the pipe. But then how do we get it to be sturdy and not like wobble around? So I got the idea that when we put the tube around the pipe, like so, it's not quite long enough to go ceiling to floor, so it's about halfway. And then I figured we could just kind of pour in some material that will fill up that negative space between the tube and the pipe. As long as it doesn't escape out the floor or out, you know, whatever seam we have here. So in order for that not to happen, I guess we could kind of use like a big garbage bag and pour stuff into that and then have that kind of take the shape of this area and tape everything together so that nothing gets out. And that way I think it should all be sturdy. And then we can just attach this to that. And then we have a pipe. Does that make sense? Now we gotta cut this carpet. Not that one, this one. There's the client. Doesn't even know what I'm doing yet. He's uh, checking out the carpet that's laid out. I guess she likes it. Anyway, I have the carpet on the pillar, at least the bottom half. Now I'm gonna take some rope and wrap it up in a coil in this kind of section. I don't know how high it'll go. And then carpet for the rest, carpet this, carpet some other things. And then we're gonna get our mural started. So let's try it. So the construction-y parts are done. All that's left now is the artsy parts. We gotta prime it first, so let's do that. Okay, okay, it's getting nice and white. It's pretty dark in here, it's kinda hard to see, but I think it's doing something. Okay, let's let that dry now. So, okay, I wanna paint something that's cat-themed, obviously. So I did some research online, seeing what kind of cat art is out there. And I think I came up with something that could be kind of cool. Just like a bunch of cats, maybe making them all Bengal cats, like Pixel, just in different positions and in a cool way that spreads out. And then, you know, add some lights and some carpeting. I think that could look pretty cool. Let's dive in. Okay, so I kind of did a rough sketch that's up. So now it's just getting the paint ready and finalizing it. So let's do that now. Found this for like 10 bucks. According to my calculations, it should fit in that section right there. Let's see. Huh. Boom, perfect fit. That worked out pretty well. All right, corn litter. Let's fill it up. Final step. We're just gonna put the whole thing in here. Pretty much ready to go. So there's one element that I thought would be pretty cool. You know how, of course, bathrooms have bathroom signs. So why not give Pixel a little bathroom sign? could make a cool little entranceway where it has female cat bathroom so she'll know exactly where she's supposed to go. And thankfully I have this awesome little Cricut device over here that can cut super precise for me. So let's design it, let's cut it and get it on there.
what a random project, but I think it's done. We finished the construction -y parts. We got a cool landing with like a toy, a nice little area for her to play, climb up and down. We got the mural, we got the entrance into the litter box. The litter box has a landing and all the, you know what? I'll just show you. Here are the final shots, boom. So there you go, there is my cat mural. I hope you like it. And there's actually quite a few more surfaces in that zone that could maybe use some art in the future. There's like this one, this one, here, here, but I don't know, we'll see. For now, she's got a mural, she's got a fancy cat bathroom, and I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching this video. I encourage you to stick around because I'm going to try to be more consistent with these videos in the future. So there's lots more cool artsy projects to come. So until next time, all the best, my friends. Feel free to check out a previous video if you like and take care.